story of my life. I got married to my husband under the leading of the Lord several years ago. I waited upon the Lord for 10 good years. 10 good years. And the Lord showed me mercy and gave me a son. We brought him up in the way and nurture of the Lord. We took him to church for every activity. He was active in the teenage church. He was active in the youth church. He was doing so well. Exceptionally brilliant in school. On graduation from secondary school, he got scholarship to read medicine in a prestigious university in the country. Our joy knew no bounds. Our joy knew no bounds. We concentrated on the work of the Lord. Serving the Lord faithfully. I was known as a woman leader. I went from parish to parish preaching the good news of the gospel. My husband was also fully involved in ministry. We had a beautiful family. Then one day, one hot afternoon, I received a news from my son's university that he had been absent from school for over one week. And that he was roving mad on the streets of Lagos. Mad due to hard drugs. How? How can this be? Where did we go wrong? What happened? Hey, what's up now? Why are you here? Why are you doing as if the why whole world has fallen on top of why you? Why do like this and I talk to all? I'm, see, see, I'm very, very down. In fact, I, I'm, I'm so frustrated. I, I feel like taking my life. <laughs> How? You can't <laughs> have people like you in this, like us in this campus, and you'll be talking like this now. Uh-uh. Why? What happened? Now, nah, make they tell you, say, may they come close to us. May they come close like to us. Do they hear what? this pressure of one key? What exactly you? happened? It, 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 you didn't know what I passed through. I, I, I read, I, I spent all what I had, and that rubbish lecturer, <laughs> John decided to film. What, what, what kind of rubbish? Now nah, make us say, may you come close to us. This guy us. is talking about reading. See, not be who read, now they pass. So. Us. May you come close See, to us. See, if you pass, that means that you sabi book. Guy, bring that to Namo. We are making tell you what did happen. He needs to go. No be by ready. This one no be Nigeria or Ghana. No be that Baku or that they take for here. This one say, if I put her here because of Kelebi, if they catch you, your parents have go hear her. Babe, as you see, I think it's they talk. Ah, where is that my fucking magic say? We make a light that way. Yeah, yeah. Draw, draw and give her. Guy, you go draw and tablet and bring her out. Baby, look at that. Guy, just take this thing in. Just I sniff and smoke. Sniff and carry See, just take inside. it in and then... Uh, go inside and bring her out. Wait till they have to. Baby, check her out now. Yeah. Everywhere clean. <laughs> that's all, that's all. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Do have, do have smart eye go and do. They go get used to you. You'll be fine, see ya. By the time you're done, what is your problem? You calm down. You'll be so high, sure. your problems will be down. You go bring her inside your belly, bring her out of you. Just like that? Yes, you go bring her inside your belly, yeah, bring you her into her. Yeah, you talk too much. Ah. Babe, give her that cordine now. See, give her that see, cordine. See. Just keep her like Give her this. that cordine. Just I'm taking this one. I see the teddy one, they sniff this one inside. Yeah, what, you what talk too this? much. What, 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 what this Now cordine be that hot here inside, even tramadol there inside. Hi. Like 250 milligrams. Oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. 
Me, I can give her this extra. Yeah, give him, give him. Guy, hold this extra. You get my for us now. Five one corner, they do and small, small. Eh? You day here, we would go solve your problem. Day here, the pressure won't kill you. See your life. I did not realize that my own fireyard had been left unkept. I took the next available flight to Lagos. What my eyes saw, what my eyes saw. Uh, I found my son, the son of promise, the son that the Lord had given to me. I found him picking from the gutters. I found him eating from the dustbin. I found him raving mad. The devil had possessed him. The wind had blown against me. Jesus, how can I serve you? And I have a son that is possessed by the devil. We tried everything to bring him back to order. We tried. He was too strong for us. No one could hold him down. He was like the madman of gathering, possessed by many demons. I knew that only the Savior could save me. Only Jesus, who has never failed, can help me. So I went back. I stood on my altar. I said, Lord, I'm the gatekeeper of my household. It's only what I allow that can come in, oh God. I flush out every demonic spirit. Everything that the enemy has planted while I was sleeping. I began to roll before the Lord. I began to cry. I rode for seven days. Oh my God, have mercy upon my son. Lord, I need your wind to blow in his favor. As I cried unto the Lord, the Lord ministered to me that he's not moved by my tears. He's moved by my faith. Faith in his word. And so I changed gear. I picked up my Bible and I began to report the, the report the promises of God back to him. Lord, did you not say that my child is a mighty seed? Did you not say that the seed of the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree and grow like the seed of Lebanon? Did you not say that it is well with my seed, oh God? And I said, Holy Spirit, you need to locate my son. You need to win, move your wind. Let your wind move. <laughs> Holy Spirit. As I prayed, I called him sweet names. As I prayed, and spoke his word back to him. The Lord began to move. The Lord began to move. He woke up his servants far away in Kaduna, a missionary. He gave him my son's name. He gave him the address and the location. He told him to go. The pastor came, located him, and the Holy Spirit Blow the wind of restoration. Ah, He break, broke every shutters. He broke the chains. He took away the pain. And he began to give him beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness. He gave him a garment of praise instead of the spirit of heaviness. Ah, 
The wind blew. The wind blew. And God did it. The God did it. Today. As I make this testimony before the congregation of the saints. My son is right now. A man of God. He's preaching the gospel from state to state, from nation to nation. Restoring back everything that the enemy has stolen from people. The Lord using him mightily to break chains. This is my testimony. The Lord that caused this wind to blow in my favor. He's here right now. If only you can stretch forth your faith towards him. And allow the Holy Spirit to come into your situation. Your situation may be different from this. It could be a wind of finance. It could be a wind of healing. Whatever you're trusting him for. Believe God. The wind of change is here. It will blow in your favor.